Good morning, I'm Jeff. I'm a sewer tech northwest. Today we're at property address 10610 Southeast Boise Street here in Portland. We're located at the rear of the main home. We're just outside the kind of the back entrance of the main house and we're right in front of the ADU. You know, a four inch ABS clean out here is our point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We currently have water running from a, a hose here to simulate water running from the ADU as well as water running inside the house. We will drain that out at the very end. And I've already done a test run. This line does pass uh, through the main house. So here we go. I'm going to go through a lot of twists and turns going through the uh, house this way, so I'm going to keep the camera moving quickly. We will roll back out slower. They did just transition here at about 67, 68 feet over to Schedule 30, 34 PVC pipe. And here at 96 feet from the point of access, we have reached the main lateral. I'm just going to do locates really quick to make sure we find that on Boise Street, and we'll let the line drain out now. I did locate the camera head successfully out on Boise Street. And it's kind of hard to tell because we have some, some kind of grease and old toilet paper that kind of clumped up right here. Uh, it looks like we might have a root intrusion coming through the joint. I'm looking at the uh, far right and left side of the pipe. It looks like we have something protruding out. That looks pretty indicative of roots. It's just it's hard to discern a little bit because of the uh, debris that's kind of built up over the top of this. I'm going to go ahead and try and locate this real quick. All right, I picked up the camera locator right at the edge of the property where the property meets the sidewalk. It's right at that point. Um, and it's right smack dab in the middle or underneath a, uh, looks like a rose bush out there. I'm getting it awfully deep there around 10 feet. I'm going to pull back here a little bit and do another locate. 
And it's hard to say whose responsibility that would be. Generally, when you at the transition from ABS to PVC, that the PVC portion of the line is generally where the city takes over responsibility. So I'm not entirely sure whose responsibility that would be as it's at the transition point. Okay, well, I've done another set of locates here just past the roots. This is kind of, this is just about a foot underneath the sidewalk. I'm getting it right around that same 10 foot depth mark. That's just right, I mean, generally that's, that's rather deep for a line to be um, this distance out from the home, especially without a basement. I'm going to come back into the yard here a little bit, around 60 feet and locate right here. Obviously it does grade downhill here quite a bit. You can see the angle on the pipe. We'll do another set of locates right here. And here, uh, about 60 feet out, this is about 7 feet or so uh, behind the root intrusion or before the root intrusion. And I'm picking it up at about 5 feet deep here. Uh, but the the distance, or sorry, the run isn't moving a whole lot away from the root intrusion. Uh, it's not moving 7 feet directly back. So um, it looks like this pipe has a pretty hard angle on it here, uh, getting out towards that transition point. So it's entirely possible that depth is, is 10 feet deep there. Um, but with, with the kind of the depth discrepancy over just, you know, six, seven feet here, we're going from five feet to 10 feet. I do recommend uh, doing locates to verify that. It's just, uh, it's awfully deep and it's worth doing a second set of locates there, especially with the rose bush. It's kind of in the way of uh, getting a locator wand in there. Uh, but I do have it marked with a white X, basically smack dab in the middle of a, a rose bush right up against where the yard meets the sidewalk. And at this time, that, that uh, root intrusion is small. It's not affecting the flow really in any way. Um, uh, it's one of those that you could either uh, treat by putting some solution down the line to kill off the roots. Um, you could also do a repair, which will permanently take care of the root issue there. But I would definitely contact the city because it is possible that that may be their responsibility as it's at the transition point. have a little bit of standing water here in the uh, crawl space area. This is within the main home. Looks like it's it's about a quarter of an inch of standing water in a four inch line. And I don't see hardly any debris in there. It looks like pretty much everything's moving past that point without issue. And we're just about to pull the camera head out. So apart from the roots, which again are not affecting the flow uh, due to their size right now, and it's hard to say if they're going to grow much larger than that, uh, but they certainly can. Uh, I would definitely uh, look into that by contacting the city and looking at different options, whether you uh, trim it, uh, kill it off with root killer foam, or do a repair. And if it's at a depth like that, it might be an ideal situation to do a pipe liner uh, rather than to try and dig a 10-foot hole there. Uh, it would just be a single spot repair, so uh, fairly easy to pull off. I'm going to go ahead and reel the camera out. Uh, despite the, well, with the roots in there at their size not affecting the flow, we do have adequate flow all the way to the main lateral. And apart from the root intrusion there at that joint, uh, the rest of the line is in good shape and functioning at this time.